Hi, I'm Carly McAvoy. In this video, I want to show you how to use GeoGebra. Given a small data set, how do you find the co correlation coefficient? How do you find the regression equation? And how can you make predictions based on that model? And what percentage of your GPA uh, or the values that you have for Y can be explained by um, the value for X? So X in this case is the amount of time students spent studying and why is their GPA. So you're going to go to GeoGebra um, and click on GeoGebra, GeoGebra Classic. And then once you get into GeoGebra, you want to click on Spreadsheet. If you don't see this drop-down menu, click up here. There's a little purple circle and three lines, and then you can click on, on Spreadsheet there. But I'm going to click on it right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste that data in that I was looking at on the other page. And so now I want to find a few things. I want to find R, I want to find that regression equation, and I want to find, uh, I'm going to make a prediction based on that, and I want to find the last value I want to find is that coefficient of determination. So I'm going to highlight these two lines here, these two columns, and then I'm going to come up here and then drop down to two variable regression analysis. And what that's going to do is give me this um, line and, I mean, this, these plotted points, just the seven values that I had plotted. And I'm going to come down here to Regression Model and click on Linear. Now it's going to give me the line and it's also going to give me that regression equation that I was looking for. I'll look back at the other page in a minute, but I can also find the other things very easily clicking up here on this uh, button that says show statistics and it'll show you there's your R value which one of the things we were looking for is what is the R value and so that tells us um, the correlation the correlation coefficient and then in the last question they're going to ask us for the R squared value which is right here so everything you need is right there I'm going to go back into the program, the other document, to finish talking about this. But that's how you can find all of that information. So going back into our document, we used that GeoGebra to find the, the uh, correlation coefficient and rounded to four decimals was 0.8382. And then the regression equation was also given in that formula. And sometimes you'll see it written with that X value in the first term and sometimes it's in the second term. If you do flip flop those around, it's okay, but make sure your signs are the same. In this particular case, our sign is positive. We know that because we know it was and when we look at the line, we can see that that rises from left to right. So that's a positive slope and we would expect to that slope to be reflected in this document in that coefficient of that X term. And then it says use this model to predict a student's GPA if they studied for seven hours. So all I want to do is take that equation that I was given and I'm going to substitute seven in for where X used to be because X stands for the amount of hours. And then if I simplify that, I would have Y equals 3.2516. That's the model that we have. And I just want to go back now, because remember 7 and 3.25. If I go back into this and I go over here to 7 and I go straight up to this line, that's not really at 3.25. My model isn't super predictive. My line isn't super predictive, I mean. So my 3.25 would be somewhere up here for 7. Maybe it is a better fit. I can't tell. But anyways, I think it's a little bit lower than that. So the last question gets to this it says what percentage of variation in GPAs can be explained by hours students spent studying um, and what we're being asked there is that coefficient of determination which we notate with R to the second power and so what that's saying is in this particular case is how effective are the number of students study how much impact is that having on their GPA and so you're going to just take the R value that you found earlier, which was 0.8382, and take that to the second power. And that's going to show you about 70% of their grade can be explained by the amount of hours that they spent studying. So it's not 100%, but it's a pretty good prediction predictor, 70% at the time anyways. All right. Um, have a great day. I'll talk to you next time.